They do. The question is the House do now adjourn. I call the member for Fisher. Madam Speaker, I rise in the House tonight to mourn the loss of media diversity in Australia. More and more we seem to have a concentration of ownership of media outlets and, of course, that presents a real danger for Australia's democracy. The smaller the number of newspaper and other media owners there are, the less opportunity the Australian people will get to hear a range of points of view uh, and uh, will be less able to inform opinion uh, on the basis of facts that are put before them. I'd like to encourage people to use independent media as much as possible. Independent Australia is a website uh, which uh, many people uh, observe, and I quote from an article by David Donovan who says, Australians, Australian mass media is concentrated into the hands of a very small number of proprietors. For example, 11 of 12 major newspapers in Australia are owned by Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, otherwise known as Limited News, or John Fairfax Holdings. In fact, Murdoch bestrides the Australian media landscape like a colossus. News Corp owns eight of that 12 and also dominate the regional and suburban newspaper publishing industry as well as owning a major slice of Foxtel. And so when we have such a concentration of media uh, ownership in Australia, uh, that presents a very real threat to the democracy of which everyone in this House is so particularly proud. Media diversity in Australia is much less than in the United States of America, and yet even in the United States of America uh, there is a concern uh, that concentration of media ownership is stifling democracy and depriving people of the opportunity to receive the information that they need in order to be able to make informed opinions. Now, of course, uh, there is an advantage uh, with independent uh, media and technology uh, is giving chances to many people to use uh, uh, new forms of media such as, and I quote, uh, the rise of web blogs supplanting the public's attention to traditional news media and the slow death of newspapers due to erosion of mind share by online influences such as news websites, chat rooms, message boards and online gambling. There is, and I quote from someone else, an element of democratisation and accessibility that did not exist before as the communications revolution has opened new opportunities for more voices to be heard, the voices of the people. And the cost of internet-based and other digital media has become relatively cheap. The speed and reach of communications has opened up new horizons for trade unions, indigenous people, environmentalists, peace and other activists and groups. It has also been used very effectively to not only disseminate information but as an organising and campaigning tool with some great victories. For example, Independent Australia uh, has, through its managing director David Donovan, its investigative super sleuth uh, Vince O'Grady, and I'm quoting from Independent Australia and many others, has spent hundreds of hours investigating and researching the James Ashby Peter Slipper scandal, a covert political conspiracy by the Coalition to bring down the Parliamentary Speaker and through him the Federal Government of Australia. And Margot Kingston has also made some very useful contributions with respect to uh, public discussion, uh, encouraging people in the community to look at issues, issues which are of importance. Now, I do understand that there are arguments in favour and against the NBN, but I think that it's critical for the independent media to have NBN go ahead throughout Australia, and this will give many Australians the opportunity to get information from a large number of sources. It's alarming and a wake-up call for all Australians when you look at the monopoly of print media that I mentioned previously. For example, the Daily Telegraph, owned by News Limited, spent many pages mutilating photographs of me as Speaker only to report the scathing judgment by Justice Rares 
uh, dismissing the uh, sexual harassment cases and abuse of process on page 17. And so, Madam Speaker, this is a matter which we must consider seriously. Question is the House to now adjourn. I call the member for Cowper. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker